10 Things That Turn 98% of Men Off and Many Women Won't Even Realize If you've ever questioned, why don't guys like me? Remember that every woman has had that depressing thought at some point, or many points. This is especially true, because online dating and apps have dramatically increased the amount of guys who may reject you in a very short period of time, without even actually meeting you. If you're not having the best dating experience right now and believe that men don't like you, it's natural to feel overwhelmed and question whether you're doing anything wrong. In this video, we will go through 10 things that turn 98% of men off, which many women won't even realize. Make sure to stick to the end of the video and find out whether you are also doing them without realizing. Let's get started. 1. You have no idea how to flirt. Flirting is merely an expression of your natural play style. It might be a great approach to show your interest in a guy by inviting him to take part in a fun little moment with you. Flirting isn't required for a man to like you, but it can greatly help the attraction process. And there are many ways to flirt with a guy without being obvious. The challenge is that flirting, like many other social skills, was not taught to you in school. So if you haven't taken the time to figure out your flirting style or have the confidence to use it with men, you're missing out on possibilities to connect with fantastic guys as you go about your day. You may also be giving mixed signals to guys, keeping you in the dreaded friend zone. 2. Overthinking every little thing Have you ever found yourself over-analyzing every text, look, or casual conversation? Overthinking may produce a feeling of strain and tension, which most men will notice. It can make interactions seem forced and awkward. Try to relax, go with the flow, and let things happen naturally. I understand that it is easier said than done but it may make a significant difference in how a guy views your interactions. Do not let your anxiety of not being loved by men interfere with your time with one. What you can do. With positive self-talk, you may learn to relax and enjoy the present moment. Mindfulness or meditation can help you relax. Remind yourself that it is okay not to have control over every issue. Concentrate on what he is saying to keep your attention away from unpleasant thoughts. 3. Coming on too strong too soon. Expressing your emotions is vital, but expressing too much too quickly can be overwhelming. It may scare him away before he gets the opportunity to develop feelings at his own pace. Emotional intimacy requires time to grow, and rushing into it might lead to feelings of pressure or intensity that are unpleasant. Allow the connection to evolve naturally. Be honest about your feelings, but avoid pressuring the other person to reciprocate before they're ready. Remember that it's alright to take things slowly. It frequently results in a better foundation for a relationship. 4. Lack of communication Communication is the foundation of all good relationships. If he believes you are not successfully communicating your feelings or expectations, this may lead to misunderstandings and him losing interest. Or if he believes he is carrying on the conversation, he may become bored or resentful that you are not putting in an effort. What you can do Practice open, honest, and straightforward communication. Regularly communicate your emotions and worries, and urge him to do the same. Do not expect him to read your mind. Instead, communicate what you are thinking. Listen actively while he speaks. This demonstrates respect and comprehension. 5. Not making him feel special. Everyone wants to feel special and valued in their relationship. If he thinks he's simply another guy to you, he may not see a future in the relationship. Making him feel valued and distinct might assist in fostering a stronger relationship. Little gestures of gratitude or acknowledgement of his work might help him feel valued and special. What you can do. Show your admiration for his special qualities and efforts. Make him feel special by giving him sincere compliments and doing thoughtful things. Actively listening and responding to his comments and thoughts will demonstrate that you appreciate them. Make an effort to remember small facts about him, such as his likes and dislikes, as well as stories he has told. 6. You're trying too hard to impress. When we strive too hard to impress, we risk coming out as desperate or fake. It's easy to get caught up in the rush of wanting to be loved, yet genuineness shines brighter than any rehearsed lines. Guys value a woman who is authentic and confident in her own skin. Instead of worrying about how to impress, consider just being yourself, your true, magnificent self. Remember that the appropriate person will value you for who you are, not who you are striving to be. What you can do. Relax and be yourself, letting your personality shine. Instead of seeking approval all the time, focus on building your self-esteem from inside. Remind yourself that the right man is blessed to have you just as you are. Accept your distinct characteristics and quirks. 
They define who you are. 7. You focus on the negative. Another reason why males may not be interested in you yet is that you have a bad habit of focusing on the negative. Complaining and dwelling on the negative is an easy habit to fall into. Perhaps you have personal factors such as undergoing a traumatic experience or read a flyer about weeks of intense construction in your neighborhood. Maybe you're caught in a negative perspective regarding your love life, such as, why don't I have a boyfriend? Or why is life so hard? And men just don't date anymore. It's normal to want to share your distress or dissatisfaction with others. However, make sure it's balanced with good themes and enjoyable experiences. Hey, you don't know how to talk to guys. If you don't know how to talk to men, it's no surprise that they don't gravitate toward you. If you can hardly look guys in the eyes, let alone hold a conversation with them, and it's difficult to like a female who can't even make eye contact with you. You must overcome your social anxieties and finally fall in love with the art of connecting with people. Even before the COVID epidemic forced everyone to maintain a social distance, technology had been causing people to lose the ability to communicate in person for many years. If you fall into that category and are unable to confidently engage a man, it will be difficult for others to get to know you, making it difficult for them to want to spend more time with you. 9. Trying to change him A typical error in relationships is trying to change the other person. If he believes you are always trying to change him, his habits, attitude, or lifestyle, he may feel underappreciated for who he is. Rather than trying to change him to match an ideal, embrace his uniqueness and individuality. Make no assumptions about him or his habits if you are just starting off dating. Take time to get to know him. What you can do. Learn to accept him as he is, wounds and all. Instead of trying to force change, have an open and honest discussion about the key concerns. Rather than change, focus on compromise and understanding. Nobody is perfect. We all have quirks and idiosyncrasies. 10. Not valuing his time. Time is one of the most valuable things a person can offer, and it is crucial to the success of any relationship. If he believes his time is in value, for example, if you're regularly late or cancel plans at the last minute, he may feel neglected or that you're not putting the relationship first. Respecting his time is more than simply being on time. It is a demonstration of your respect and care for him as an individual. It expresses your appreciation for the effort he is putting into the relationship, which can eventually improve your connection. What can you do? Always be on time for your dates and hangouts. Your respect for his time is a respect for him. If you have to cancel or reschedule, please notify him as soon as possible and truly apologize. When he makes time for you, show gratitude and acknowledge his efforts. Plan dates or activities around his schedule to show mutual respect for each other's time. Well, there you have it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video all the way through to the end. If you like what you watched, please show some love by liking the video and leaving a small comment. Every interaction is valuable, and that's how YouTube assesses our video and shows it to many women like